Today we prepare our 6x6 limousine to drive across the state and pick up our next project. Tomorrow is the last day this Mini Cooper is available to us, so the pressure is on and we are not sure if the limo can make it. Is there anything that you're concerned about as the master mechanic on this trip to getting there and getting back? Or are uh, we premium? Only everything. Oh no. <laughs> Juicy 37 inch Falcon Wild Peaks. Got some new wheels on the way. We make it look all fresh and spiffy. Oh, this thing smells like tires. They're off gassing. That's probably know. better than it smelled like earlier. Right. Driving it through the puddle was um, an interesting choice. I just realized I'm going to be working underneath it. Oh. Hmm. We have not driven this since we got it back. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yes. How we made it back without that tire completely disintegrating is beyond me. Oh, well, yeah, that seems to hold air. Was it just the hose that was leaking? I think it might have been, yeah. All right, next up on the list of things to fix here is this here carrier bearing on this drive shaft. It's all loosey-goosey, wibbly-wobbly, all janky. So, I'm gonna see if I can pull it off and get some sort of part number off of it. Well, the bearing itself is fine. Okay, there's a number there. It says 201R. It has another number on it, 231, 212. Interesting. I might as well cut some of this off, make it a little more decent until we can actually properly fix it and make everything good again. Honestly, in some ways, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it might be. There are some spots that are completely rusted out, but overall, there's less than I, well, who knows. Haven't gotten into all of it. Now that's what I call weight reduction. Wow, this thing's already getting like full. I think this windshield is held on by one hope and two dreams. same color this is not a custom color that's just the color they are wow it's funny from the back it looks like following a normal Ford thank you well it is a Ford excursion that's been turned into a limousine truck thing all righty wow wow <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little ridiculous. This thing's gonna fit 37s? I don't know, find out. So are we should. cutting it up today too, or what? <laughs> if we have to. <laughs> these 37s on here and see how they look and then maybe take it on a little celebratory adventure
I just cut out some of that inner fender liner there. Obviously, it needs a little more because the suspension traveled and hooked that, but I just figured I'd see. This is what makes it officially the Grind Hard Company truck. Oh, I figured out why this blinker uh, hasn't been working. We're low on blinker fluid. Look, it's only half full. Hi, Bjorn. You helping out here? Yeah? Good oh, boy. How about, you're making this so difficult, dog. Oh, look at that. The limo's so big, you can chase the ball underneath it. Uh, that, it looks not premium. Huh. Something got janked. Uh, yeah. That is indeed the fluid of brakes. Well, now we have another thing to fix. Once again, the only thing that's actually bad is the rubber dubber flubber stubber, which you can see is very... It's crusty. Crust edition. As Will might say. Oh. Dude, are you excited? I'm really excited, dude. It, it smells like the Lemo is the only thing that smells like this, so. It's got like this really strange musk smell in here. <laughs> I don't know what it is, and it intensifies while it gets warm in here. Also, did you notice it's like a nice breezy 110 degrees in here? <laughs> nice. It's toasty in here. Like, oh. Hopefully it's not this toasty all the way to Oregon. I don't think this thing has AC at all. I also don't think we're going to Oregon. Oh. Every time I brush it, a little bit of chad gets in my mouth. That is so much better. Look, almost no play now. Just one to go. It doesn't need to be fancy, but it needs to be strong so that the uh, winch can winch stuff onto the trailer. Checking out the limo, buddy. Check it out, just like that. We got ourselves a winch. A trailer winch. You know, we're sealing this back window and someone put the window over the vinyl, so it kind of just leaks right in. So I'm thinking, It'd be nice to do something more elaborate, but we don't have time. Just take this piece here, like this, and then, you know, weld it along there. And then, that in itself wouldn't do all that much, but then I'll take make another piece that goes across the other side, this side here, and weld them together, and that'll make it essentially a big piece of angle iron um, over top of the existing fender, and that should be plenty strong for most things to drive over. Sealer Willie. They call me Seal Man. Oh. <laughs> seal Man Willie. Flex Seal? You know what a Flex Seal is? Yeah. Yeah. That guy. Oh. That's, a, that's who I feel like. Oh, the stick came out, but won't go back in. Also, Ford makes their cars literally look like they were put together by like aisle 17 of AutoZone or something. Like, what the, what the heck is all this stuff? It's like house wiring in here. That's why I only buy Subaru. So much more premium. Maybe a Ford guy could tell me in the comments if there's like a special way to put the dipstick back in. It came out smooth as butter, and it's going in. 
dry as a peanut butter sandwich. Well, I think it's lunchtime, which means it's a great time to tell you guys about Factor, which delivers delicious, dietitian approved, fresh, never frozen meals right to your door. That was good. Yeah, that was premium. I like that. <laughs> if you're like me, you spend so much time building things and out and about doing stuff, you never have time to cook. Well, with Factor, you can not only save time on cooking, eliminate cleanup, but also you can eliminate trips to the grocery store because these delicious, healthy meals are delivered right to your doorstep. Or if you're spending too much on takeout, these meals are cheaper than takeout and also considerably faster. Lunch has never been so easy. Just grab one of these out of the fridge, a couple of holes in it. Two minutes later, we got lunch. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code GRINDHARD50 for 50% off your first Factor box. I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm hungry. That looks really good. Drain the oil. There's like half the amount of oil that's supposed to be in that engine. That's oh. fine because it's like that's like the bulletproof 7.3, so we're fine. That will go forever, a lot less, all of us. Look, looking for my phone. It's in my front pocket this time. This time. Mm -hmm. We're going to giant, buy a giant Mini Cooper on 46 inch military tires. Drive over fenders now. Last night, I was just goofing off at Walmart with the intention of buying an AC thingy and the biggest Bluetooth speaker at Walmart. The size of the speaker was much larger than anticipated for a portable Bluetooth Wait, speaker. what? Oh! <laughs> they had this one that has rollers what? and LED lights. And then I was <laughs> checking out and the clerk, and she was like, my friend has this one, I love it so much. We do karaoke on it. And I was like, does it come with a microphone? She's like, no, but any Bluetooth microphone works. I ran up and I was like, this microphone matches my limousine. And she was like, looked at me like really weird, like, okay. And then a guy comes back in line and he's like, I love your channel, man. And then I was like, does this not match my limousine? And he was like, Oh, it totally does. <laughs> and then the Walmart that clerk was, was like, like what? what is going on? <laughs> There's Will. He didn't bring anything. Goodness me. It's You have a cookie and a tea. <laughs> Do you not know where you live? I live, like, so far away from that address, Dude. I don't know what that is. <laughs> How do you charge this thing? My question is, what did I do wrong? Why? What did I do? <laughs> I've never heard him complain about karaoke before. Don't you want to hear Will sing Celine Dion? <laughs> no! I do! <laughs> Celine Dion is lit! <laughs> Is there anything that you're concerned about as the master mechanic on this trip to getting there and getting back? Or are uh, we premium? Only everything. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, the little chunks of metal that came out of the oil yesterday when you changed it, those are the, you know, those don't inspire confidence. We are only like six quarts low on oil. Out of 15, to be clear. So, yeah, out of 15. So that's not that bad, really, if you think about it. And. The chunks of metal were no bigger than the tip of my pinky. I think we're getting pulled over and it's the first time ever in a grind hard vehicle, oh, so we'll see how this goes. I didn't even think we were going that fast. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Pretty good, how about you? All right, so your speed is 71. Okay. So trailer combination vehicles of any kind, 60. Oh, really? I did not realize that, I'm sorry. A lot of people don't, it's all yeah. right. Oh, wow. registration insurance. Yeah. We did, um, we recorded. Where are you headed? We're heading over to uh, Tacoma area. I knew it was like that in California because they have it posted on all the signs. I didn't realize Washington was yeah. the same. Dude, what is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, it started life as a Ford Excursion limo, and then somewhere along the way it became this. We're going to buy a Mini over Cooper there. monster truck. 
a mini you have a picture of it? Uh, like, yeah, we do. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm just going to find the, the insurance cards on my phone, so. We just built crazy stuff and put it on the internet. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, 60. Keep an eye gotcha, on yeah, for sure. Right? Yep. All right, we'll do Appreciate that for it. sure. Thank you. For real, I had no idea. I over a couple times for doing that in Washington. Well, <laughs> thanks for the warning. <laughs> You don't realize how much better outside smells until you're out of the limo, bro. The definition of made it is having to park on this side of the truck stops. In the semi parking area? Yeah, yeah we are as long as a semi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, what's in your back pocket? Hey! <laughs> let's, oh. let's see them. Hey! So you put it back in your back pocket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're doing push ups with it in your back pocket. You know you can eat these? We have to just stick to it forever. <laughs> can you? Dude, you don't eat the dandelion flowers. You eat the little leaves. Mmm. <laughs> Dude! I got it! What if I don't got it? Well, if you don't have it, you'll probably be fine because of the length of the grass. It will slow your velocity. <laughs> that was pretty good, dude. It looks even better in real life. Oh my Dude, gosh. Oh. The photos didn't quite do it, that it justice, really did they? Justice. What it the heck? So oh. That is the coolest thing we've ever got. Steven, nice, Steven, to, meet nice to meet you. Cool. This thing's crazy. Yeah, man. I bought it from a guy that put it together. Uh, he was uh, just too old to climb in and out of it uh -huh. and, and to finish it. Um, it needs fuel lines ran with the fuel cell. I have everything. Uh, battery line, cables ran and then brake lines and steering and steering. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, oh, I, I honestly yeah. didn't even look at our group chat. I didn't know what we were coming here to get, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just came. Whoa! And this is what we're getting. That's amazing. You just have to climb the tire to look yeah. into the hood. <laughs> wow. Low mileage, four banger. Did Not you a do Jeep work to Jeep? it? Or? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Jeep frame, Jeep motor. Oh, I didn't realize it had a winch. Super chill. Yeah. Guys, we cannot be mean to this car. Is it? So is the? Beautiful. I love the speedometers on Mini Coopers. They're just this big, like a basketball. It's awesome. You should get a little car like this. You gonna daily this, Ed? Yeah. I bet it drives smoother than the Tesla right now. You really didn't know we were getting this. No. I didn't know. I just pretended like I knew because I was like, oh yeah, the Mini Cooper. Nice. And then you show up and it's like this, like. Oh, this is definitely almost too clean to be taking the grind. I know, I'm a little concerned. Same. This right here is what you'll call ready to drive. Yeah, there you go. This U, this U bolt doesn't exist. Oh. There's just one U bolt on each side. Yikes. <laughs> Pocket Willie. We gotta make the sunroof work. Oh yeah, that's a given. There's two sunroofs, dude. Did you know that? Mini Cooper Hinge book. Oh yeah, very yeah. helpful. The original Mini Cooper stuff. Ah, oh, power steering pump to run the hydro. Yep, and then there's all the lines and fittings there. Yep, and then there's the mini one. Where's the that should be the Jeep, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's probably the Jeep one. one. Yeah, I saw a plug that looked like that underneath there. So you could probably, you got, I mean, the computers to both, so you could probably figure something out on yeah. getting it to where oh, yeah, it most, works. Most of the stuff in the mini, I mean, so it's just the speedometer and stuff that yeah. you just wire up, just put power to it, and most of that would work. And I think that's all he was going to do. He was like, you could just run a on and off switch to start it, you know. You know those display booths at Walmart? Like on 4th of July, they bring out all the stuff right in the front. I think these bits of plastic are the things that hold those up. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Oh. I don't think that's like a legit thing. I think that's just bits of plastic from a crate. It will do. <laughs> It'll do. I sent a picture to a friend. They're like, wow, that's cool, but unnecessary. And I said, no. <laughs> Hey, you know what? The really janky front suspension is a great excuse to like four link the front instead of have at least front. Hey. Oh. 
We are buying this from a professional tower who said he would help us. But we're doing this instead. Mm. Oh. At least I know it's going to a good group of guys yeah. you know, that yeah. are going to actually put it together and Your use it. Your wife seemed a little bit too happy to see this go. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> She's yeah, happy. Uh, for whole... You know why? Because she gets the money. That's oh, why. <laughs> right, right. We have it on, um, we have a whole YouTube channel. Oh, That's do you? like the whole thing we do. What, so what's it called? It'll be on there. And you'll see the limo on there too. It's called the Grind Hard Plumbing Channel. I got the keys. Let's drive. <clears throat> That's not going anywhere. This, we just need to keep the green bean on the back forever. <laughs> that just needs to be an accessory of the limo, the green bean. That is a sight to behold. You know, some things just put a smile on your face and that's one of them. Yeah, that machine puts a smile on my face for sure. Is that functional hood scoop? First stop with the new machine, is Home Depot. Some of our straps weren't so premium. And let's count how many spots it takes to do this with the limousine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll call it eight. Eight. Eight parking spots. That's a record for us, right? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta shake your hand. You Absolutely. Guys built some cool. <laughs> Good nice to meet you. you. Casey, nice to meet Casey? you. Ethan, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Will. you. Will. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. I, I mean, saw your shirt. Oh, uh, oh I saw not, grind not hard. Thirty-six like, foot long limousine. <laughs> well, that, that too. Yeah, you guys nice, take to meet care. You, Casey. nice to meet you, Casey. Yeah, guys. take care. Have a good day. Like an hour ago. This ain't too shabby either, but you need a roof up there. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah. a little, it's a little rotted out. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, we, it's a project. So what are you gonna put in this baby? Uh, well, it just has a Jeep four cylinder in there right now. I don't know, 95 Jeep, so we'll get, get it running with that first. And then, yeah, like a, yeah something like that. Is what we call a push up yeah, a situation. Bit, yes. We will. <laughs> what do you got going on? Oh, I don't have nothing. All right, well, no, that's 10. No, 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 that's 10. That's 20. It's not in the back. It's not. We make him do we, 10 push ups every time he has his phone in his back pocket. Uh oh. It started as a joke. Ah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do it now. If you wanna do 10, I mean. Uh, I can't even do one, fellas. Oh. 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 Well, it started as a joke, and now we just keep making him do that. So. My arms are getting too big, and I walk around like yeah. this. How far do we go? Just straight. Yeah. See? This is what Crocs are meant for. Oh, that's a thorny bush, ow. It's also a fairly sizable little drop speed. Oh. Yeah, I've got a lot of phones in my pockets for this action. Apparently today ended up being a parkour day with a laptop. Two phones, a laptop, priceless hard drive with a Crocs. Let's go. We should actually do an overland straight line challenge. Dude, I'd be down. All right, well, let's see it. Tell us if the restaurant's over there. We have a little more diversity of cuisine out here in Tacoma. I know. Yeah. I hope it's like, do you want a cheeseburger or a cheeseburger? Or maybe a, a cheeseburger. I've never seen this before. It's a it's a pho burrito. Just gonna pick up a few last supplies while Ethan gets some diesel.
situation is. Oh yeah. We got I the just limo. Wasn't sure if you were talking about that. We got the Mini Cooper. The weather is just like falling out of control. Nice. Hey yo. Hey -yo. Getting a little coffee. For the tired boys. We enjoy the sun. Coffee. We very, very much need coffee. say like 50 foot long machine it might be longer we should measure it when we get back and 50 feet long machine it's too long to turn around up there that's for sure yeah. 